Hi guys, welcome to the channel, Tessie here and on this channel we discuss so many things, viral topics, my lifestyle, better outcomes for black women and women in general and dating and more. So grab yourself a glass of something lovely, come and sit down with me and let's have a discussion because it's going to be interesting. I've got here Diet Coke, what a treat, what a treat, I don't have it regularly. So smash the subscribe button, smash the like button and let's get into it. What are we going to discuss today? Today we're going to talk about how you can avoid becoming a placeholder and putting yourself in situationships. Now I've noticed, right, women of all colors, skin tones, black women, white women, Asian women in their 20s, 30s, 40s and 50s, finding themselves in situationships and becoming placeholders. And how you can avoid this is I need a lot of women to realize, especially black women, that a lot of you are still, unfortunately, very male-centered and male-dominated. So what do I mean by that? I mean, a lot of women still believe that they need to pursue a guy and they need to put more energy into the guy than what he's showing you. And one of the things I've realized is that a lot of women don't have the self-esteem, self-identity and self-confidence to realize that you deserve to be pursued by a man who shows effort and shows that he wants you in his life and he wants to build a future with you. So he wants you to be his girlfriend. He makes it clear to you. He shows you he wants you to be his fiance. He wants you to be his wife. He takes those steps. A lot of women, unfortunately, still don't have that self-esteem and self-confidence, especially black women. And I, I, one of the things I noticed with situationships, right? The main common denominator that women always talk about is, oh, we have such a deep connection. Oh, our connection is so strong. Oh, we were so deeply bonded. So you were so deeply bonded and the connection is so strong, yet the guy refuses to make you his girlfriend, wife. He refuses to communicate with you. He, stay, he sees other people while he's seeing you. He refuses to give you commitment. He refuses to show, tell you he loves you or show you he loves you at all. And he, all he does is he shows you that he's interested in you physically and wastes your time and energy. Does it make sense? It's not making sense. I really need women to understand, right, that you do not need to beg a man for a ring. You do not need to beg a man for love, relationships, right? You do not need to beg a man for anything. And there's no amount of crying or screaming that will force a man to do anything. You cannot force him to feel a certain way or to force him to see you a certain way, right? And I really need women to understand that when a guy has shown you that he doesn't want to put that energy and build life with you, then there is nothing. And I really need women to understand that situationships make you sick with hope. So what does that mean? When you are in a situationship or you find yourself a placeholder, you will end up sick with hope. You will end up having raised and consistently raised expectations. And the guy will continuously crush those expectations over and over again. And the more the expectations are crushed, the more hope you actually end up having. Because what will happen is he'll end up doing something or saying something that will make you feel like you have hope and that will make you delusional because situationships are a one-way street where a woman pours all her love, energy, time, care and in a lot of black women's cases, her finances because a lot of women put money into these guys they're in situationships with and it just goes nowhere. Now, I really need women to understand that you cannot beg a man to do anything. Men are very capable of making it known what it is that they want, right? Okay, with my fiance, Greg, we're getting married next year. He's Polish, I'm Nigerian. He proposed to me within a year and four months. He started telling me that he was interested in marrying me eight months into the relationship and we've been together two years. We just celebrated our two-year anniversary. I really need women to understand all the things he'd done for me. He'd never done this for any woman before. All the things he does for me, does this or does that. He'd never proposed to any woman before. When men know that they want to marry you, there is nothing on earth that will stop them. And I really need women to stop believing that there's something stopping them from committing. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, right? You do not need to beg a man for anything. And once you realize that the guy is not going to give you the love, the communication, the respect that you deserve, you need to cut it off. Unfortunately, we, women have lost pride and ego, and what I mean by pride and ego is when you have pride in yourself as a woman, that gives you dignity. And when you have dignity, this stops you from ex accepting low standards, really disrespectful behavior and actions from men. And it gives you the pride and the strength to walk away from situations that are harming you. Because a lot of women report developing 
physical and mental illnesses from dealing with situationships. Situationships, there are many women who have literally developed severe heart conditions from the stress of crying over a guy and how he treats them, a guy that you're not even in a relationship with, right? And women have lost ego and pride in themselves. As a woman, you should have spine and backbone. There are certain things you should never be able to tolerate. And when you develop respect and high standards for yourself and confidence, you will not tolerate these things. And I really want women to understand, right? Because I see a lot of women, especially black women, you end up crying hysterically when you break up with a man you were never in a relationship with. Because situations, situationships, you will break up with a man that you were never in a relationship with. And what that means is you see women crying for weeks, months, hysterically, ah, ah, talking your family and friends ear off about this guy, making yourself sick physically and mentally. And what will happen is with the more you cry in front of this guy and the more you cry over this guy, the more you make yourself ill. And let me tell you something, the guy doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. And listen, I really want you ladies to understand, I don't pursue guys. Guys pursue me. In fact, if a guy doesn't show me he's interested, I'll never know because I'm not interested in men as a whole. If he doesn't come and show me he's interested, I'm not interested. And I really want you to understand, if you cry over and over again, hysterically over guys, guys will use you and deal with you violently in this life. You must have strength as a woman to walk away. Once you realize that the guy is not good, walk away and block. Because what will happen is men will never delete your number. They will keep your number for months, weeks, years, consistently trying to contact you to see if you can sleep with them, if their other options doesn't work out. They will consider, and this is how you end up in a situation and a placeholder situation for years where you don't get the ring or you don't get the marriage or the life that you want with that specific person. Walk away and block the mumu jaw and don't cry hysterically. As a woman, when you make decisions for yourself, you must be able to stand on this and understand that you're doing the best thing possible for your life. Make the decision for yourself, walk away, Respect yourself and that is how you avoid situations like this.